worships, pastorates, the church, everyone who is everyone present for giving us the opportunity to grow and giving us the opportunity to bless you. Thank you very much. Okay, quite rich, let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, we magnify your name, we glorify your name. We see your name, we highly exalt you. We pray that men and women present here will grasp the message of today. In Jesus' name, Okay. We've been talking about the week. This week has been seen key into supernatural success, which is. But today, I have something quite different, which is very, very essential, which is. The supernatural, my reality. I want you to repeat after me. The supernatural, my reality. Okay. We define supernatural in a very presentation, but I will repeat myself. Supernatural is pertaining to or being natural or beyond what is natural, unexplainable by natural law or phenomena. Okay, and as Christians, as believers, we are made to know that we are not just natural, natural when it comes to the of the kingdom or when we translate from the world into the kingdom of Christ, the body of Christ. We are now supernatural beings. Not because we deserve it, not because we worked for it to end it, but we are supernatural beings. Why? Because of the relationship we have, we have with God. Okay, we cannot call ourselves supernatural, we cannot say we are supernatural if we do not have a relationship with Christ. That was being very clear when we Relationship is what makes us supernatural, the same way we searched as was discussed last Sunday. Okay, and being supernatural is having one-on-one -on -one relationship supernatural being with you, which is God himself, is having a supernatural, a supernatural relationship with the supernatural being, which is Christ himself. And because we are now supernatural beings, we now exist in a supernatural realm. We don't do things naturally, we don't do things the way every other person would do things if they were in the same scenario as us. We do things differently now. Amen. Okay. I'm going to go straight into what I saw here as tips or keys on how to make the supernatural our reality. Tips and keys on how to make the supernatural our reality. The first point I have here is I know your pastors. Tell the person by your right, know your pastors. Tell the left by your left, know your pastors. We all know that our pastors is God because He is the person through which we are now so natural. So knowing is understanding and understanding, true understanding is how you can key into something, true understanding is how you can grasp what is for you. You cannot grasp, you cannot benefit from something that you do not understand. Amen. May I have Philippians 3 in this? Philippians 3 in Philippians 3 in this. How many of you together? Things change through 
faith that the impossible becomes possible. The truth in faith that declarations are made for things that don't seem that don't seem like it's possible to happen. The truth faith that these things happen. And then um, we told at the beginning of this year we cross over that do not forget in the dark what you have in the light. The faith you had in declaring, faith you had when you see all things were good, faith you had and when holding on to God when you see that everything was going well and easy for you. Should be the same faith you have when you feel that things are hard. Should be the same faith you have when you feel this thing is not possible. But with all things, but with God, all things are possible. Okay, can I have um, Hebrews 11 verse 1? Before it shows up, I want to hear believing what God has to say is the foundation for your supernatural life. Believing in what God has to say, in whatever circumstance you find yourself, in whatever situation, in whatever scenario, is the basis, the foundation on having supernatural life, on living supernatural life, and radiating the supernatural. Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 4 says, Now faith is the substance of things called for the evidence of things not seen. Faith is a currency. Faith is what we use as an exchange video between the heaven and what we, and the things on earth. Faith is how we trade whatever we feel normally. Or faith is what, what we use to trade our situation with what God has to say with heavenly goods in heaven. Praise God. The third point I have here is stay on the promise. Tell your neighbor, stay on the promise. Stay on the promise. I will repeat. What the what, what you do not forget to do that what you had in the light. What you had in the light should keep you even when things don't seem like they're okay. Stay on that promise. Stay on what was said. Stay on the declarations. Remain in that faith. Amen. When God told the uh, children of Israel that we to take the promised land, they were not able to take that promise and remain to possess the promise land. Why? Because they forgot who they were and focused on their own inabilities. Stay on the promise. Like this um, yes, um, team is focused on Christ and the supernatural. Focus on Christ. Even when things seem like, I cannot do this. It's not about you, it's about who is for you, who's you are. Praise God. Stay on the promise. That generation did not take the land God had for them. Why? They focused on their own inabilities. They did not see that God, that the people around them were small when God was. Praise God. In the same way, we are told last week that your identity in Christ as a son, as a daughter, is not affected by your mistakes. In that same day, your supernatural is not affected by mistakes. Praise God. You are supernatural, you are supernatural. Your mistakes doesn't, doesn't temper out with it. You are supernatural, you are supernatural. All you have to do is simply kindle your relationship with the supernatural being and continue to manifest the supernatural. Praise God. Praise God. Can I have just one more verse Just one more verse Okay. For every place that the soul of your feet shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. Not the Bible will not say that I will give to you. That have I given unto you. In that, it is already yours. Take it. It is already yours. Take it. If you feel that okay, this is the same thing with you, this is the same thing with you, rekindle that relationship and take what it belongs to you. Like our parents said last week, it's God's blessings for us is that we pray that we set on the table. Take as many.
Amen. 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 We need to put points on mind. <laughs> I hope I've not confused you or convinced you that your relationship with God is what makes you supernatural. Because it is supernatural. Praise God. 